Um, are you involved with vestry? Yeah, I go. Yeah. Um, okay. I go to those meetings. Okay. And it's been very Have there pleasant. been... Have, <laughs> Very pleasant. That's yeah. good. That's shocking. Good. <laughs> have any issues come up in your time that you've been there that that are serious issues that have caused some angst or? Um, I mean, the parking lot. Mercy. Sure, the parking lot's been a big. I think the church is in transition with all these new folks coming, mm -hmm. and so the vestry's thinking about how do we accommodate them. So the first line of that has been um, parking, mm -hmm. and so that's been um, Victor Ash has been heading that up with the help of Chuck Hughes and other folks on the planning committee. And, um, I mean, any type of big building project like that is a nightmare when you're dealing with the county and restrictions right. and historical restrictions. And right. um, it was supposed to happen last summer um, while Chuck was on sabbatical, but um, I think it may not even happen until after I'm gone. I'm yeah, sad not yeah. to see the parking lot. Um, well, but I, I think next... I understand a lot of it was yeah. with the county. What? I understand a lot of the holdup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it wasn't anything yeah. on our end. Like, yeah. everybody's been super responsible. Victor's been really responsible. It's just been, um, you know, they'll want specific changes. Yeah. And uh, other folks will understand that. I've been on the periphery of that. Yeah. Uh, but I think the next step will be thinking about some sort of, what do we do with space, physical space? And the vestry's starting to at least acknowledge that that's going to be an issue. Yeah. Um, like whether we need a Christian education building or expand our use of the Ledford House or because we had um, right now we have I think 27 children registered in the K kindergarten and first grade class mm -hmm. um, where you know when I first got here there'd be six or seven kids and mm -hmm. so just those kids are going to grow up and need a sure. place to sit right. Right. Um, so they're working on that yeah. um Do you have any comments that you'd like to make on, like, the Altar Guild or the Red Fund or the Choir or the Board of Trustees, anything you want to Sure. Um, I mean, I think they're great. I've been so impressed with the Red Fund and the ministry they do. Um, I've only gone once or twice. Um, that was just a choice I had to make just to keep my own sanity and sort of figure out where my niche was. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm really impressed by them, impressed by the um, folks who are working on the soup kitchen in Manipur and other folks in Waynesboro, um, the choir has gotten better and better, and um, but that was you know dramatic when Debbie Hunter left and yes. choosing Larry, and I yes. think that was difficult for, I was looking at an um, old directory that was like 20, 30 years old, and to see Debbie you know, in her 20s and all these choir members who had been with her helped me to understand the pain that that caused when, yeah. when uh, she left after yes, her sabbatical because they had sung with her forever. Yes. Um, but I think now, so for a while, the choir got sort of shrunk down mm -hmm. after Larry came. Mm -hmm. But um, I think he's really earned everyone's trust. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been fun to see, look up and see a really robust choir the last, uh, like in the last year. Mm -hmm. and I think they're doing great work. Um, the endowment board, I've got, the endowment board was um, part of my ministry just because as an, an assistant, I'm on the endowment board. And so my goal with that was really to open it up as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the endowment board is wonderful and wonderful people. Um, and I, I think I just had some philosophical differences about, you know, they would meet at um, the Greencroft Club, and which is a private club, and mm -hmm. I, I just thought shedding more light on the process. And they never mm -hmm. intended to keep anything secret. It was just right. um, the communication right. could have been improved. And so we've really worked on that, and they've been on board with that. and. Mm -hmm. where I think we're meeting just in the church now so anybody can come and see it and we've done more advertising about how to apply for grants mm -hmm. for the endowment and mm -hmm. made it more made it more clear mm -hmm. and consistent process um, and so I've been really proud of that Good. Uh, but it's been really wonderful to be part of that and helping seeing how Emmanuel contributes to the community okay. through that money um can you describe your memories of any of the special events at the church, like Christmas pageants, the greening of the church, Christmas Eve service, Lenten sure. suppers, and that kind of thing? Um, the Lenten suppers have been some of my favorite things, because I think it's so nice when you have a chance to really um, visit together as mm -hmm. members of a church, mm -hmm. rather than just the 32nd, passing the peace on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I think the Lenten suppers, the speakers have been fine, but what's really been wonderful is the fellowship around tables and getting to know each other and 
when new people come to the church and want to meet people, I always say like that's the best and fastest way to do it because you get to just sit for 45 minutes and eat and talk. Uh, I think that's a really neat thing. Um, the Christmas pageants are always hilarious. Martha Long had been coordinating those. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next year. I think Claiborne Davis might have headed it up this year. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always amazing to me to see all these wild kids suddenly you know, turn learning to play angels. instruments and turn into <laughs> angels and singing beautifully and memorizing lines. And yeah. this year they added in a little bell choir, which I just find oh. totally astonishing that oh. these um, wild children can can do all that. Uh, but it's it's wonderful for me because I really love the kids. I mean, that's been one of the biggest experiences I've had here is just the kids here. Are I think remarkably wonderful. Maybe I'm biased, <laughs> but they're not affected. Yeah. You know, there's something about this community that keeps kids, kids, um, mm -hmm. and they're just, they're sweet, they're interested, they're interesting, uh, and the Christmas pageant is always a really fun way. I love watching them sing and get so excited, and mm -hmm. um, I think this last year one of the angels was bragging to me about how she was the best angel, <laughs> or so, you know, we were just like a brother kid. Um, they're funny. They're yeah. really funny kids. Yeah.